Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you how to add the stream mix for the Elgato Wave 1 microphone into OBS. What do I mean by that? Well, it's really simple, guys. Like, the Wavelink software that comes along with this microphone for free allows you to combine everything you want in your mix, game audio, Discord, internet browser, whatever it is, into one master mix using their official Wavelink software over here. So in today's example, what I have in our stream mix is I have just my microphone and one other input, just as an example, Spotify music playing. Cool. And so those two inputs are enabled. If we scroll down, we're going to see it here under the playback here. It is enabled. It's not disabled. That would be disabling it. It is enabled. It's not disabled. And so the mix we're talking about in uh, Wavelink software is the stream mix down here and you will see the volume level for the stream mix popping right here on this bottom bar. And so to take that mix specifically, which by the way, you can adjust the master volume of it here or monitoring it by clicking the ear here on that mix to bring only that mix into OBS as one simple input that combines everything in Wavelink into one input into OBS, super convenient. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to sources, click the plus button, Go to audio input capture. Then from audio input capture, you're gonna type in stream mix there. Go ahead and hit okay. Then it'll pull up this menu where you get to select your device. Do the drop down. do not do default. Select Wavelink stream, check. With Wavelink stream, then it'll bring in only the stream mix when you hit the okay button here at the bottom, hit okay. There it is, there's our Wavelink stream mix right there, nice and beautiful. Isn't it beautiful, my friends? And so when bringing that into OBS, you can see that my mix is a little bit hot right now. So what we can do is we can either bring down the mix here in the master volume for that mix by dropping it down here and then checking it out in OBS and seeing how that impacted our OBS. There it is, it brought, they brought it down a little bit in OBS. Or we could bring the volume level down in OBS if we wanted to, to adjust the volume. We don't want our volume on any of these to be punching up to zero dB up here at the top, that means that your source is potentially clipping, which is bad. So we're gonna bring it up here in the master mix, maybe bring it down to like 90 appears to be the sweet spot. And then for you, it's gonna be something different. I'm just teaching you how to balance this. And as you can see, there it is. I'm really just getting toward negative five dB, but not going above that with my stream mix. That's where we want it to be. Since you've tuned in toward the end of this video, here's a bonus tip on how to make your stream mix better. Click the gear cog next to that stream mix in your mixer, then go to filters. Within filters, you're going to want to hit the plus button down here in the bottom left hand corner and select limiter in OBS and hit OK. What we're going to do is we're going to select under your threshold for your limiter, negative 3 dB. This is going to prevent your stream mix from peaking and clipping and what have you and make it easy for you to have your audio sound great all the time. For example, I record tutorial videos all the time and sometimes I'm louder, my mic is slightly closer the volume levels adjust on their own, what have you. And so by putting this limiter in place, it prevents my recordings from being ruined. Even if my mic is a little bit hotter or the audio source is a little bit hotter that particular day, this can save recordings, this can save streams. Trust me, add this limiter here. It's gonna prevent your audio from clipping. Once you do that, you're gonna hit close and then there it is. As you can see, my audio is never going to go above negative three dB here under the stream mix. So therefore you're never going to blow the face off of your viewers. Optimally, your volume level is kind of going right here between the yellow and the red line, getting toward negative five dB. It's a little bit hot right now. So you're gonna to wanna to talk, play your music, play your game audio, watch what happens, and just really adjust this and get it into a sweet spot where it's in the yellow, headed toward the red, but not exceeding the red too much. And then you are in the zone with your stream mix. Now your audiences can, do, can enjoy a custom mix that you did through the uh, Wavelink software just for them that's got the perfect volume levels and will never blow their face off, which is good. If you don't already have the Elgato Wave 1 mic, check out the links below with the official accessories as well. Adios amigos.